The festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got a catchy as a guest. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you normally do at a school festival? Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? There's no set rules for this kind of thing. Walk around and hang out, like when we went to the beach. I think I can do it if I've got everyone with me. You are so laid back. There's a possibility that your name and Ryuji's have come up. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. Now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um... <sighs> You seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone, and eat at the refreshment stands. This'll be a great change of pace from all the nasty stuff lately. Shall we head off to the stands, then? All right. This is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good, from what I've heard. I know a great one. Follow me. This is the place. Made takoyaki? New customers. I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your classes stand. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? What happened to the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. The hell? Well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. I'm sorry. We're out of cod, bro. Then how about the squid? Um... We're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. That doesn't even sound remotely possible. Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Oh, I can see that. Yuchi, you, you're making a scene. Then, what would you recommend with what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. Uh, let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens.
We won't let that happen. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechi-kun is planning. Thank you for the wait! Ooh, it's fresh made! Lies! I heard a microwave go off! Well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious! Well, one of these is special. Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. Is that so? Well, I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. Oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Wait, is she honestly going for it? Do you want to go for the red one? Oh, you sure? All right, then I'll just help myself to it. Not! Oh, everyone's all here. The, the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes, since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. I'm going to have one of these. <gasps> the special one! Let's just call this my performance fee. But... It's fine. Hmm. It's quite the... Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. My throat. This is... Oh, my stomach. It burns. Are you okay? Do you need water? I'm... I'm fine. I just love, uh... Spicy... Spicy stuff. <laughs> Hey, does he sound broken to you? Well then, I'll... I'll see you, uh... T -t -t tomorrow <laughs> Wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. But, did he truly come to simply check the venue? This isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That a catchy guy. When he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? You're here just imagining things. So, I guess we got through all of it okay? Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. Seriously? I think I'm as tired now as I am after midterms. Huh. I didn't mind any of that. I just love seeing that detective gulp down the special takoyaki. I had fun as well, since I got to spend time with you all. What would you like to do now, Haru? Walk around a little more? I appreciate the gesture, but I'm satisfied with stopping here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with the Kachikun again tomorrow, after all. I have to agree. What will his next move be? Oh?
Um. Uh, yes. I. Wait. Indeed. Hold on. How about it? Well then. Well, uh... Hmm. See. Indeed. Thank you. Oh, yes.
I. Thank you. Well then. think he knows he talks about the phantom thieves are dangerous yet he says they haven't committed any murders either he has an idea who the true culprit is or he has uncovered the identities of the phantom thieves come on Makoto you gotta get it out of him as much as you're allowed to say would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them getting right to the point I see well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? 
Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why, it's as if you're a prosecutor. Uh, excuse me. This is something I've personally been interested in, so I couldn't help it. But won't you tell us? What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust? Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting in with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. And if... this is all hypothetical, mind you. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Your comment just now... Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. He's gotta be bluffing! Pipe down! He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? It may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion, so announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. The truth? What's he planning on saying? That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. I'd like to ask you then. Who do you think the Phantom Thieves are, Akechi-san? That idiot! No. There's no way he could have any evidence. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are... Ah, oh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about 10 minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in 10 minutes. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? Is there a room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. I want you to come, too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them, too, if that's all right? Did you set this up? We only have ten minutes, you know. What do you want to talk about? No! That's gotta be shopped! I have video footage, too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world, too. Yes? It's not just all of you. I am aware of that world, too. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Dude, it's the NAV. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction, because I have the same power as you. I'll take your silence as confirmation. 
In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this... We didn't kill anyone! I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. This guy has a persona too? This cat. I swear, it just... talked. Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana, were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure, and those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> well, there's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an M.O. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake, which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. A deal? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you Phantom Thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai-san. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Sai-san can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just cause they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What should we do about Akechi-san's proposal? I see. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel. Correct? 
My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us! Hey, they're going! Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Why did Futaba have something like this? If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover... I knew it. She's... Oh, God. Host festival party? I thought this thing was over. Eh, nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. Huh? Senpai, aren't you going to the post festival party? Since we've run into each other on our own, why not go together? People say these kinds of events should be enjoyed with others, so let's go have some fun. 